admitted that this was a distraction Project for humanity. Moonbeam. Yeah, good one. What uh, is that? That is that's lasers, right? Yeah, I can I can actually talk about that one, but that is uh, uh, <laughs> it's really bad. But you know the people that see orbs in the sky. Yeah, uh, go around and fly faster. UFOs, than it. you know, UFOs. Yeah, the, there's there's Navy pilots. There's an, uh, yeah, multiple yeah, the, Navy pilots who talk about. Them, like, they got there, so they were flying F-18s. These these yeah. Navy pilots, and one of them's coming in here in a couple in two weeks. He's uh, oh. Ryan Graves. Okay, he uh, he's a Navy pilot flying off the coast of North Carolina, and they they got their uh, their radar upgraded on their F-18s, yeah. and all of a sudden they were seeing these things darting around their radar. Okay. Uh, don't tell him what I'm about to say, and see if he knows about um, it. Okay. Um, so what we do is we play with our own forces, make sure. Our trickery will work on the enemy. Uh, and those are directed energy weapons of where we do intersecting beams or focus beams into the atmosphere. And notice they're always in the atmosphere to excite the electron orbitals of the oxygen and, and nitrogen uh, in our atmosphere. And it causes a glow and it causes ionization. That ionization shows up on radar and like a, it's like a cat laser pointer. And we're making planes chase them. That's exactly how they describe these things moving, like laser pointers. Yeah, and so we can do it in three space. We can make it look like... In three-dimensional space. Yeah, and we can make it look like uh, an entire fleet is about to drop bombs on, let's say, Europe, and then just have them disappear. And they ha they get all their planes up in the air, and we attack them from the other direction, uh, assuming we're attacking Who Europe. is doing this? The Navy, you said? Uh, somebody. <laughs> let's just say a group. A group. You know, and you know this for a fact. I know for a fact. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, don't tell your guests. A group within the U.S. government. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Yes. And, and is I, this something? Is this something that could be seen with the naked eye? Or yes. Is this something because that only... it glows. It glows. So it would be seeable. You can see it by the naked eye, and it would leave a radar trace. So it's perfect as a deception, and, and it invo involves the voice of God weapons that I was talking about. Project and, Bluebeam. And this got this got leaked. Uh, so it probably won't have the effect and they probably won't do it. But if you wanted to bring the world together, as President Reagan said in several UN speeches, you would have a common enemy like evil aliens attacking. We forget right. our differences right. and we fight against it. So we wouldn't look at each other as, as Chinese or Russian yeah. or American. We look at each other as earthlings. It's for humans. Yeah, as earthlings. And so that was Project Bluebeam was to trick the human race into believing either God is coming down Everybody hears the voice of God, the microwave hearing effect, uh, get along, get, you know, whatever the new message is. Or it was going to be the evil aliens attacking. And notice how they, all of a sudden, all the governments release all the information on UFOs, and there's a whole uh, division dedicated. And that's just deception. It's just, you think it's all deception? I think it's all deception. Really? Yeah. But, you know, that's my opinion. I, I've looked at all the videotapes mm -hmm. and uh, that people have given me, and I can explain away each one of them. So apparently, but there's there's apparently lots of footage and video videos and photos that have not been released to the public. Yeah, I haven't seen those, so I, I can't get And if you them. think this is all some sort of psyop, what do you think the ultimate purpose of it is? Distraction against a lot of this human experimentation we're doing. Weird one for you. Why is the Vatican holding a press conference this Thursday? A reason that they give for this press conference is cause for alarm. But before I move on, I must say this video is for entertainment purposes only. With that being said, let's take a look, shall we? Vatican preparing guidelines for apparitions and other supernatural phenomena. So guidelines, the Vatican puts out guidelines all the time and they update them all the time. But regarding supernatural phenomenon and apparitions, they haven't done it since 1978. The Vatican is preparing to release a document giving guidance on how to discern supernatural phenomena. The Holy See Press Office announced the upcoming document will be published May 17th with a live stream press conference. They are in the process of finalizing a new text with clear guidelines and norms for the discernment of apparitions and other phenomena, according to the National Catholic Register. Why are they so concerned that we might not understand the difference between apparitions and other phenomena? I don't know. Maybe we should look and see how the Vatican defines an apparition. An apparition refers to an instance in which a divine entity, such as a saint, the Virgin Mary, or Christ himself, makes itself known to a person on earth. I told you it was weird. What do they think we're going to see that we would not be able to discern between the supernatural and other phenomena? Is this really just an update to their guidelines, or is it a preemptive strike? I'm kind of leaning towards the preemptive strike, getting the information out there before it happens. But I have no idea. I do know. I'm interested, and I'll be watching. This the spot. This the spot. Nah, come back out. Look, why they be peeking like that? Peeking. All 
right, so look, let me know. Someone was walking by, bro, and they just disappeared when they got by the tree. Un guardia de seguridad se dirige al lugar donde su compañero serious, asegura que vio algo. There was a lady walking, and she just disappeared in the sidewalk. What the fuck? Mira. What the hell? Salió, salió, salió de la del un hoyo, güey. No mames. Mira, mira. Ahí va. What the fuck? What is that? ¿Qué es eso, güey? Es la llorona, güey. No mames. Mira, mira, mira. Mira, mira, mira. Jimmy, you ain't fucked up. But that shit's getting all the close to the moon. You oh, see it? Yeah, I see it. Our fuck is fucked up. Our government is what fucked up. Fuck? What was that? Why? Bam. What did it just hit? Look at it. Look at the fucking smoke ring. Are you fucking shitting me? I'm a drunk ass redneck videoing some fucking shit. Like, what in the fuck is that? There's the fucking moon. This bullshit just sent a fucking shockwave. What? Incredible video trending social media of what looks like an extraterrestrial short gray. Now we also have a picture of this fella at the bottom of the video as you guys could see. Um, apparently this home security camera in what they're titling on social media Skinwalker Ranch um, happens to be this baby little alien that's like three to four feet. And um, you know, many people have claimed to have seen these grays and sometimes they're tall sometimes they're not but um you know if you look at the pyramids and you know all the indigenous people back in the days they used to draw these grays on the walls of the pyramids and um what do they have in common with human beings is it humans from the future coming back comment below la noche del domingo 5 de mayo del 2024, el joven Rafael Benvedetti, desde la localidad de Escobar, en Buenos Aires, Argentina, logró documentar un misterioso acontecimiento que es denominado por los investigadores y especialistas como Racing Frag o Pista de Carreras, luces misteriosas de origen desconocido que se mueven en el cielo a una velocidad extraordinaria. En la grabación obtenida por el joven Benvedetti, podemos observar los desplazamientos de las extrañas luces que en un movimiento de ida y vuelta, en cuestión de segundos, recorren varias decenas de kilómetros. Amigo. Fue esa misma noche del 5 de mayo, otro testigo que circulaba en un camino de esta misma localidad de Escobar, desde su automóvil registró el fugaz movimiento de estas luces. La toma nos permite confirmar la enorme velocidad a la que se mueven. Amigo. 
Se ha descartado la probabilidad de que se trate de cañones de luz, ya que no se aprecian haces que provengan de la superficie. Y no existe manera de que la luz de los reflectores puedan abarcar grandes distancias como lo estamos viendo en este video. El origen de estas señales definitivamente está ubicado en el cielo. El verdadero misterio consiste en tratar de entender qué es lo que nos están diciendo. Se están dando seguimiento a este importante avistamiento. El canal de noticias La Nación entrevistó al autor del video, Rafael Benvedetti, quien así narró los detalles de este acontecimiento. ¿Qué, cómo, contanos un poco del momento, ¿no? O sea, vos sacaste el celular, lo grabaste, la verdad es que... No, 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 no fue así en realidad. Yo en realidad abrí aquí atrás, como ustedes ven, que es el comedor de mi casa para mis perros. Yo tengo cinco perros. Ellos salen generalmente al jardín. Entonces yo les abrí y cuando les abro la puerta me encuentro con esto tan raro en el cielo. Mm. Realmente me sorprendió tanto que le digo a mi mujer Michelle, le digo... ¿Vos estás viendo lo mismo que yo? Y enseguida ella atrás, con el celular, me dijo, sí, sí, lo estoy viendo y lo estoy filmando. Claro, son los dos, no estoy loco, lo estamos viendo los dos. El patrón de comportamiento de este Racing Track es el mismo que había sido reportado en Japón las noches del 14 y 15 de mayo del 2022, donde cientos de luces fueron vistas recorriendo a gran velocidad la ciudad de Tokio. De acuerdo a la información, fueron cientos de testigos quienes atemorizados observaron este fenómeno, derivando en que las líneas de emergencia se saturaran. Del mismo modo, luces desplazándose a velocidades sorprendentes fueron vistas en Ohio el 8 de enero del 2022. Based on that, yes, these installations for the most part are subterranean, and they they go down several <laughs> several levels. Um, I can't give specifics, but um, they are real. Deep underground military bases are a real thing. It's the most common practice for all this technology because they have somewhere to store it, and it's safe from nuclear fallout, nuclear exchange. So uh, I wish I could talk about it further, but I honestly can't. So um, maybe one day in the future I will be able to, and uh, when that does happen, I'll be able to point um, and paint a picture for everybody so they understand. But it's a lot of money that, to to fund these, and what the interesting thing about this too is all these installations are very self sufficient. You know, so. The, the you know everybody's asked well what about the janitors what about the people who you know prep the food or you know do facility maintenance like wh why don't they come forward well they're also taken in the demographic of people that may not have this ability with p3 when they're screened but they use these refugees also to use this and if they're given a good lifestyle they're taken care of they have medical they've got education care of, then they can they will not come forward and risk their livelihood because they're technically illegal uh, immigrants and you know, there's a risk that let's say if they were to get deported or something they'd have to go back to where they're at they don't want to go back to a impoverished area they want to mm -hmm. stay in the program they're doing because they're taken care of sure. and, uh, that's the kind sense. of it's, yeah. it's, it's, because what they've expressed is that if you were to go liberate people in these installations, they are people who don't want to be liberated. They want to mm -hmm. just reset their lifestyle because they're, they're they're given everything they need more than what they would be in the original um, environment that they come from. Go ahead, Jonathan. Yeah, I, I just wanted to wait. I, I need to get that documentation before I want to talk about it. 
All right. The left wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear mongering about the new variants that are coming. Gee whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship, more illegal drop boxes, more mail in ballots, and trillions of dollars in offs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are bad people. These are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates. And we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. They rigged the 2020 election, and now they're trying to do the same thing all over again by rigging the most important election in the history of our country, the 2024 election, even if it means trying to bring back COVID. But they will fail because we will not let it happen. When I'm back in the White House, I will use every available authority to cut federal funding to any school, college, airline, or public transportation system that imposes a mask mandate or a vaccine mandate. Thank you very much. There appears to be a lot of people who call themselves Jews now who are actually from Kazaria, which is an area basically where the Ukraine is, where a lot of Jews are now moving. The Laz people who are from Kazaria also use the same symbol, the six-pointed star. So the Kazarian people use it, and the Jews use it, and it's apparently the star of Moloch. Now I'd like to speak directly to those who have fought factually, respectfully, and relentlessly for the truth over the last three years. As of 41024, I got another one of these certified letters from the state election board. I get those letters, my wife sets it on my desk, and she says, you got another one of those certified letters. I hope you're not being indicted this time. But um, anyways, as of that letter, it has now been proven that both the hand audit, this is really, really important, and the certified machine count, yes, the certified count, have both been found to be in violation of Georgia election law. Based on these findings, to those that have fought factually, respectfully, and relentlessly, I'll close with one word, vindicated. Don't leave behind bomb fragments, bullet holes, etc. They could absolutely be used by our adversaries and have very low levels of, um, very easy to deny that they were even there, that they were used, is that correct? That's correct. Um, there's no entry or exit wound. How they're designed is to make the target feel like they're crazy, like they're imagining things, especially on the low duration, uh, the low intensity, long duration hits. You guys also said that these attacks are happening right here in this city, is that correct? I mean, there have been some that have gone public with respect to Washington, D.C. I think it was Mr. U Mr. Grozov said, uh, you spoke to a Russian agent who said that they believe that Americans are using these same weapons on them, is that correct? That is correct. Might that have something to do um, with part of the CIA's motive to cover up the existence of the, this tech and these weapons? That is a very logical possibility. It's all come out, ladies and gentlemen. Directed energy weapons are being used at home. They're covering it up. At first, they rolled out the 5G. Everybody started getting sick. This isn't another people's problem. This isn't just happening to other people. This is happening to everybody. And you need to pay attention if you've been feeling off since the rollout of 5G, especially as a conservative or a pure blood. Chances are you're being targeted by this system. If you've been feeling chronic fatigue, breath back problems, pain not associated with an injury, you're being hit by these weapons. It's not what you think. It's what they don't want you to know about. That's why we strongly recommend that you check out this book, Transhuman Genocide, so that you can understand exactly what's going on and how to defend yourself. You can find this book on Amazon. But this isn't your imagination. They want to torture people with long duration attacks. They mimic the stages of cancer, they cause heart attacks and strokes. You're all in danger. Targeting demonstrators, you, you make them suicidally depressed. Uh, and they, they're not, they don't care about demonstrating anymore because they're too upset. With one pulse frequency, you can just 